God, I know it's winter and snowing right now, but did the heat really have to go out, like, right now? Oh, there couldn't have been a better time. Oh, all we have is this little fireplace, and I'm still shivering. Oh, God, I feel like no matter how many blankets I put on, I'm never going to get warm at this rate. Oh, God, I'm going to freeze to death at this rate. How are you not shivering? Mm, give me your arm. I want to feel how warm you actually are. Oh, God, how are you so warm? Oh, God, it's frigid. Come closer and share your warmth. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're actually like an actual space heater to me. Oh, God, I can already feel myself warming up. Oh, I don't understand how you're actually like a furnace in this type of weather. Oh, my hands and feet are freezing. And I can't stop shaking and... Oh, never mind. Oh, no, it's nothing, really. I'm just gonna focus all my energy on warming up on you. Hold my hands, I think they're probably turning into glaciers. <laughs> I mean, my hands are never really warm, but now they're seriously cold. Oh, I thought the fireplace would have warmed up this place by now. Why did the heat have to turn off right now on the first snow of the winter? Oh, there seriously could not have been any worse timing. <laughs> oh, I really wanted to just read a book under the covers with the heat on, and now I'm having to <laughs> have my hands held and cuddle under a blanket with you. And you know what the worst part is? I've actually started to become warm because of you. God, I didn't even think that a whole body sharing heat thing was real. God, I thought it was something that you know, people would just say on TV, but oh, it's apparently real because I'm actually starting to warm up just being held in your arms like this. Oh, I hate this. Don't bring this up. I don't like nuzzling into you any more than you like being nuzzled into. Do you actually think that I want to be held like this? <laughs> and besides... You took the big fluffy blanket, and that's the only good one in this house. The rest of them are barely even counting as a piece of fabric. This is the only logical compromise. We share the blanket while we're cuddling and watching the fireplace until the heat comes back on or the snow stops. Whichever one comes first. Alright? Good. Um, heard what? I didn't make any noise at all. You must be imagining things because I didn't say a word. God, all I did was grab you a little tighter because the chill was starting to return to my hands. Oh, shut up. It's not my fault that you're so comfortable. <laughs> Making me move from being comfy against your shirt. I said it's not my fault that you're so comfortable. Seriously, not only are you warm, but soft too? <laughs> That's really not fair. <laughs> Ugh, it's like you're made for being cuddled against. You're really perfect for it. <sighs> and listening to your heartbeat, feeling the rise and fall of your chest, it's <laughs> really nice and calming. I hate how much I'm enjoying this. Ugh, I don't like feeling all safe and cozy and the warm in your arms and oh my i swear to god if you mention this to anyone i'm gonna be pissed i don't want people to perceive me as soft because of this it's not who i am i'm hardened and tough and definitely can keep myself warm in normal circumstances this is just an extraordinary circumstance yeah, that's... that's it. This is just something out of the norm of our day-to-day -day life, so obviously I'm acting a little different. That is 
obviously the only reason why I like you against me, and there's no other possible explanation. Oh, don't, uh, sure, me. I'm being serious. If anyone, dear, is enjoying this too much, it's you. You're getting all big and strong and protective over me. <laughs> Something I don't normally allow you to do. You... You know I have a hard time coming to you for help. Even if it is something as simple as opening a jar. I don't enjoy asking for help. I don't enjoy needing someone's help. This what we're doing right now. It's not something I do that often. Letting my guard down like this, it, it's still kind of crazy to me. Feeling safe isn't really something that I get to feel that often. It's kind of scary, usually. I don't know, I guess it, it could be because I'm finally getting warm and it all thanks to you, but you make it a little less scary to be seen as vulnerable. Oh, but now I need to hide my face again because that was really embarrassing because it sounded a lot like an I love you confession and it really wasn't. Oh. Oh, then you need to get better ears or something, but fine, I'll repeat myself. I said I need to hide my face again because that sounded a lot like and I love you confession and it really wasn't. And repeating it out loud like this probably isn't doing me any favors of convincing you otherwise. Like, um, sure, I love you. Like, a friend though. I don't see this going anywhere. You're, you're so smart and kind and funny and wonderful and I'm just me. I can't even look at you in the face when I'm being open like this. I have to literally cuddle more into your chest and look at the fire so you don't see how... <laughs> Embarrassed, I actually am. Yeah. You need someone who's just like you, do you know? Someone who you can have intelligent conversations with and make you laugh. Someone that's just as caring as you and that will go above and beyond to make you smile. <laughs> Me? I won't... I can't do any of that. I'm not exactly good with emotions or being emotionally available. Uh, it's just... I think it's easier for me to make your favorite dinner on a bad day and put on your favorite song and convince you to dance with me rather than for me to actually speak how I feel out loud. You're my friend and I want what's best for you in a relationship and that's not me. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I'm not good enough for you. You're too good for this world, and I'm just... me. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm able to speak this freely with you right now. It's probably because I'm not even looking at you and being this close to someone physically just brings it out of me. <laughs> I guess being touch-starved does that to someone. That you 
probably think I'm pathetic now. I don't want you to think that, though. Uh, it has just been a while since I've been vulnerable with someone, you know? And you make me feel really safe. I'm really not used to that. Not used to being treated so gently. <laughs> and not that I like it or anything. I'm not enjoying it one bit. I'm <laughs> I'm not enjoying the feeling of you holding on to me and how happy it makes me to be able to breathe in your scent like this or how your thumb is absentmindedly rubbing my thigh. <laughs> this is this is all about the compromise and helping me stay warm and for no other reason, okay? What what are you doing? Why did you do that? Ugh, I don't think I even care if that was kind of nice. I think I like your lips on mine. Can you do that again?